Good morning, friends. I have a special guest with us here today. I have my guinea pig, Reese's. Reese's, say good morning, tulips. Good morning. <laughs> so Reese's here is one of my older guinea pigs, okay? Reese's is five and a half years old. Um, I got him and his friend Kit Kat um, when I had actually gone to buy pet food for the other two guinea pigs, um, I had seen in their cage, they had a little sign saying that their owner had moved away and couldn't take care of them anymore. So I took them home with me and they've been living with us for about two and a half years now. So. Oops. <laughs> so. This is Reese's, and his friend is Kit Kat. Say bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> okay, so we'll sing hello. Ready? Hello, cha-cha-cha. Hello, cha-cha-cha. Hello, and how are you? Cha-cha-cha. I'm fine, cha-cha-cha. I'm fine, cha-cha-cha, and I hope that you are too, cha-cha-cha. Okay, we're going to start off with our calendar. We're getting towards the end of this month, but the month has not changed yet. So our month is still the same. We're still in what month? It begins with an M. Who can tell me what month we're in? Go where in March? Can we say March? Ready? March. Good. We're in the month of March. We're in the month of March. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. We're in the month of March. We're in the month of March. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Good. Let's count how many days we have in March. Ready? We have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22. Hmm, what number comes after 22? Today is 23, which is a 2 and a 3. Can we say 23? Ready? 23. Today is March 23rd. And today happens to be Noah's birthday, so happy birthday, Noah. Today is March 23rd. Now, who could tell me the name of our season? Because remember, winter is all gone. We have a brand new season outside. What season is it? Good. It's spring. Can we say spring? Ready? Spring. And we can tell it's spring because it's raining a lot. It's raining again. And we've been saying this, right? It rains a lot in spring because when our we have our rain, it helps our plants to grow. Okay, so hopefully all our flowers and stuff will grow soon since it's been raining quite a bit. Okay, our year is still the same. That has not changed. It's still this year. Does anyone know what year this is? It's, t oh goodness guys, sorry, it's guinea pigs. <laughs> Can we say 2020? Ready, let's say that together. 2020. Very good. Okay, so we're going to learn a brand new letter today. We're going to learn this letter. Does anyone know what letter this is? What letter is this? Hmm. It is the letter K. Can we say K? Ready? K. Now, does anyone know what sound K makes? It says ka, ka. Can we say that together? Ready? Ka, ka. Like. Okay, this thing happens to be our shape of the month, too. Like ka, ka, kite. Can we say that together? Ka, ka, kite. Ready? One more time. K. 
K says K K. Can we say that together? Ready? K K. Like K K. Tight. K K. Tight. Very good. Now, attached to our video, I have the links for two songs about the letter K and also our starfall about the letter K so you guys can hear more about this letter. We're also going to read a book about the letter K, okay? And it has to do with our kite. We're going to read this book. It's called Kite Day, a bear and mole story. So remind me again, friends, what begins with the letter K on our cover? Good, it's our k -k kite. So during springtime, if it's not raining, would be a great time to fly a kite because it's starting to get warmer outside. We might have a nice breeze. Bear looked at the sky. Could it be, he wondered? Hmm, I wonder what Bear's looking for. What do we need to fly a kite? What kind of weather do we need? He tilted his head up and went, <laughs> he sniffed the air. He smiled and said, it's kite day. All right, we have a sunny day and it looks like there's a nice breeze. So it's probably good to fly a kite. Bear rushed home. Huff, puff, huff. Come on, mole. Bear waved to mole. Kite day is here. Bear collected. Hmm, what's he getting? What do you think he could use this string for? Mole studied and bear snatched. Hmm, I wonder what mole's looking for. It says how to make a kite. And bear has all this glue in the paper. Hmm, I wonder what he's going to make. Bear measured and cut, so here he's making some wood, and mole drew. They both constructed. So here's our kite. Finally, they raced outside into the meadow. The kite flew. Zoom, zoom. It soared up, up, up. Then dark, heavy clouds rolled in. Rumble, rumble. Uh-oh, why is it a problem if there's a big storm and we're trying to fly, fly our kite? Look at these dark storm clouds. Why is this going to be a big problem? Let's see. <gasps> the breeze grew into a big gust and then snap. The kite string broke. Uh-oh. What's going to happen to the kite now that the string broke? Oh! Away, 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 spun the kite. Oh no, the kite's out of control. Oh no, screamed Bear and Mole. Down, 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 plunged the kite. Save the kite, shouted Mole, and the two of them ran. Hurry, hurry, urged Bear. Mole stopped, and he tilted his head up. Splat, splat, rain pelted the broken kite. Oh no, what happened to the kite, friends? It's stuck in a tree. You know what the same thing happened to me when I was younger? My dad and I were flying my little mermaid kite and it got stuck in a tree and we couldn't get it down because it was so high up. Look, said Bear. Oh, sighed Mole. Chirp, 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 squeaked the chicks. So look, there's a little bird's nest in the tree. Thank you, sang the mother bird. Hmm. Looks like they might leave the kite there. Why? What do you think the kite is doing? To me, it looks like the kite is actually keeping the baby birds dry from the storm, right? It's like a big roof for them. 
So maybe they'll leave the kite there to help the mama bird. The end. So that book was Kite Day by Will Hillebrand. And again, what begins with the letter K on our cover? It's our k k kite. Good listening, friends. Okay, we are going to learn a brand new sight word. This one also has to do with directions. So far we've had to, we've had from. Okay, our next one is also going to talk about us going someplace. And it happens to be the sight word, G. Oh, does anyone remember? We talked about this a little bit during our transportation unit. What G O spells? It spells go, right? Like when we have our traffic light, green means go, okay? My sentence for today is I'm going to go to CVS, okay? Can you guys come up with a sentence for go? Where do you like to go? It's a great sentence. Can we say go? Ready? Go. G-O spells go. Now we're going to go over our word family of the week. We started this last week. Remember, A-N is for our word family, but it also makes a word of its own. A-N spells and. Can we say and? Ready? And. So I'm going to use the ending sound and to make some new words. So let's go over the ones we've done already, and then I'll add in a new one. So we have C. What sound does C make, friends? We have K. K. Can we say K? K. Now I'm going to add and to it. So we have K. And. K. And. K. And. What word was that again? Good. It's can. Can we say can? Ready? Can. Now I'm going to add P to it. What sound does P make, friends? What sound does P make? It says P, P. Can we say that together? Ready? P, P. Now I'm going to add and to the end of that. Ready? So we have P, and, P, and, P, and. What word is that? It's the word pan. Can we say pan? Ready? Pan. Now I'm going to add an R. Okay, what sound does R make? It says R, right? So we're going to add and to that. So we have R, and, R, and, R, and. What word is that? Good, it's ran. Can we say ran? Ready? Ran. And now our last word from last week, and then I'm going to learn a brand new one. This is the letter M. What sound does M make? It says M. Mm. All right, we're going to put our lips together. Mmm. Can we say that together? Ready? Mmm. Now we're going to add and to that. We have a m, and, m, and, m, and. What word do we hear? Good. We have man. Now our newest one is going to be, let me think, because there's so many choices. Um, let's do letter F. Ooh, that's a little sloppy. What sound does the letter F make? It was our letter of the week from a couple weeks ago. It says F. f. Remember, it's going to take all our luck. Could we say F? f. Ready? F, f. Now we're going to add and to that. So we have F. And. F. And. F. And. This word is fan, right? Like we use a fan when it's hot in the summer. Could we say fan? Ready? Fan. Okay, we're going to say all our words together. Remember, they all rhyme, right? Because they'll have the same ending sound, which is what we need for things to rhyme. So are you guys going to repeat after me? An. An. Can. Can. Pan. Pan. Ran. Ran. Man. Man. Fan. Fan. Very good, guys. Okay, let's go over our numbers of the month, which our first one is a one and a three. Who remembers what number a one and a three is? What number is a one and a three? 
Good, it's 13. Can we say that together already? 13, 13. And our other number of the month is a one and a four. What number is a one and a four? It's 14. Can we say 14? Ready? 14. One more time. 13, 13, 14, 14. Very good. Now let's go over our color and shape of the month. Our shape of the month looks a bit like a cake. So what shape is this again, friends? It has two names. Who could tell me the name of our shape? The first name and the second name. Good. This shape is rhombus. Can we say that together already? Rhombus. And what's the second name for rhombus? It's diamond. Can we say diamond? Ready? Diamond. So this is a rhombus or a diamond. And how many sides does our rhombus or diamond has? It has four straight sides. Can we say that together already? Four straight sides. So it is four straight sides. And all the sides have to be what? All the sides have to be the same, right? All the sides have to be the same. Very good. And what color am I writing this in? It's the color blue. Can we say blue? Ready? Blue. Blue happens to be our color of the month. Okay, awesome job. So today we're going to learn something we haven't learned yet. Just give me a second to set it up. I'm going to pause this and we'll set it up. Okay, we're going to learn all about measurement today. Measurement tells us how long something is. So we're going to learn how to measure objects using our cubes. Okay, now you don't have to just measure objects using cubes. We can use rulers, we can use pennies, we can use all different kinds of things, okay? But today we're going to measure how long something is using cubes. Okay, so we're going to start by measuring the remote to my TV, because that's what I have closest. I'm going to actually measure two different remotes, okay? And we're going to see which one is bigger. Another word for bigger is longer, okay? Can we say longer? Ready? Longer. Longer means it's bigger. Okay? So we're going to start by measuring this one and we'll see which one is longer or bigger. So when we measure, we have to start at the very beginning. Okay? Because we want to get the whole length. Length goes this way uh -oh, of the object. Okay? How big it is. So I'm going to put my first cube here. Okay? And what I want to do is I'm going to put my cubes all the way to the end. Okay, I don't want to leave any space because we need to get the entire size of this remote. So ready, we're going to count how many cubes long it is. So we have one. Now we have two. Remember, I'm not leaving any space. Three. Four. Am I at the end yet? No, so I have to keep going until I get to the very end. Five, six, oops, seven, eight. Okay, and we could probably squeeze one more in. Nine. Okay, so if you see here again, I started at the beginning of the remote and I went all the way to the end. So let's count one more time how many cubes this is. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this remote happens to be nine cubes long. Let's count how many cubes long this remote is. So remember, same thing. I'm going to start at the very beginning. Okay, and I'm going to go all the way to the end. Again, I don't want to leave any space between my cubes because I need to make sure I'm getting the whole length of this remote to tell how big it really is. So we have one, two, three, four. Now again, I'm not done, right? I still have all this space here, so we have to keep going. Four, 
five, six, seven. Okay, so now the same thing, okay? I've started at the beginning of the remote. I've gone all the way to the end. So let's count again how many this is. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so this remote is nine cubes. This remote has seven. So which number is more or a bigger number? Is it nine or is it seven? nine or seven which one is more or the bigger number it happens to be nine right nine comes after seven so we know that nine is a bigger number since our number here is nine and it's more we could say that this remote is longer okay it's longer or it's a bigger number right because nine is bigger than seven so could we say longer longer this remote is longer than this one okay very good guys now again you don't have to use cubes you can use anything you can find in your house okay as long as you start on one side and keep them um next to each other until you get to the end now the only thing is all the objects have to be the same size okay i can't use like something really big like say an eraser and a cube because they're not even close to the same size okay it has to be something that's the same object that you have a bunch of, okay? So I happen to use cubes. You could use little tiny blocks that you have of your own or anything else. Like I said, I know in our, um, our building blocks that are last week, they use pennies. So as long as it's something that's the same size and you have a lot of them, you can measure with them. As long as you start on one end, keep them right next to each other and go to the other end. Make sense? Okay, we're going to keep doing this throughout the week, so even if you don't quite get it right now, it's okay. We're going to keep practicing. Now, I do have a special guest here today. Oh, friends, who is this? It's Mr. Mixup. Hi, Tulips. I missed you so much. So, as usual, I was napping over there, and I heard you guys are learning all about measurement. And I have totally, I mean totally got this. Right, Miss Amanda? Um, I hope so, Mr. Mixup. We just learned this. You, you know this already? Oh, yes, totally. Okay, so I'm going to measure some objects, okay? I'm going to start by, um, hey, over there, can you help us? Sure. Hi, Mr. Mixup. Okay, so Jellybean, I'm going to measure you, okay? So is it okay if I measure you? Sure. Okay. I'm just going to make sure you stay really still, okay, Jolly Bean? So Mr. Mixup can measure you. Okie dokie. Okay, so Mr. Mixup, you remember how to measure? Yep, I totally do. Okay, so I'm going to give you some cubes and you're going to show us how you know how to measure, okay? Thanks. Okay, so tulips are usual thing, right? If I'm doing a super awesome job, you give me a thumbs up. If maybe I've made a mistake, you give me a thumbs down, okay? So thumbs up if I'm doing an awesome job, thumbs down if maybe I'm not, okay? Sure, Mr. Mixup, you ready? Yep, I've totally, I mean totally got this tulips, okay? Okay, Mr. Mixup, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to take my cubes and I'm going to measure jelly bean here. Okay, here I go. Let's see. I have one, two, three. Ooh, Mr. Rex with these cubes are all stuck, huh? Okay, there we go. I have three cubes. Yay! Did I do a great job? Did I do a great job, guys? What? Why are you all saying thumbs down? I don't get it. What am I doing wrong? Tell me. I mean, this looks this looks great to me. One, two, three cubes. Okay, you're still saying thumbs down. Why? Tell me, what am I doing wrong? Oh, what else? Seriously? Oh, okay. Um, Miss Amanda, what's going on here? I don't know, Mr. Mixup. Tool of Friends, can you tell Mr. Mixup what he's doing wrong? 
Yeah, I say so too. Okay, here's the thing, Mr. Mixup. I don't know if you heard me before, but we said we have to start at the beginning of each object. Did you start at the beginning here? Friends, did you start at the beginning of Jelly Bean? No. My face starts here, okay? So Jelly Bean has a nose, okay? That's where he starts, okay? We did not start at the beginning of Jelly Bean. Also, Mr. Mixup, look over here. There's another problem. I don't know. Tulips, where's the other problem? He didn't go all the way to the end, okay? We have to start at the beginning and go all the way to the end. Did you do that, Mr. Mixup? Oh, um, maybe not. So, Jelly Bean, I think you're bigger than three cubes, don't you? Absolutely. Okay, we have to start at the beginning and go all the way to the end, which you did not do, Mr. Mixup. Oh, okie dokie. Okay, I'm going to try that again. So, you said start at the beginning. Yep, we got to bring this all the way up, okay? So here's the start of Jelly Bean, okay, right? We need to look at the beginning. This is the beginning, yes? Yes, it's the beginning, right, friends? Okay, so now we're going to go all the way till we get to the end of Jelly Bean. Okay, you got that, Mr. Mixup? Yup. Okie dokie. Okay, so now we're going to measure the whole length, okay? Not just some of it. We have one, two, three four, five, ooh, whoops, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, we're almost there, Mr. Mix-Up, okay, yep, seven, eight, what do you think, Mr. Mix-Up? I think that looks much better, okay? So we started at the beginning and went to the end now, right? Yep, I think I've got it. Okay. So, friends, did Mr. Mixup do the right thing now? Yeah, I'd say so, right? Thumbs up. He started at the beginning and went all the way to the end of Jolly Bean. So let's double check and count how many you have, Mr. Mixup. Okay, can you count for us? Yep. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So Jelly Bean is eight cubes long. Big difference from before, right? Yep. Okay, so I have to start at the beginning and go to the end each time. Okay. Thank you, friends. I think I've learned something. Okay, so since you've learned something, do you think you can measure something else for us? Oh, yes, totally. Totally can. Okay, Mr. Mixup, I want you to measure for my friends. Hmm. Let's measure how long our calendar is, okay? We're going to measure this side of the calendar. Does that sound good to you? Yep, I think I could do it. I remember beginning to end, beginning to end. Okay, good. Let's see if you've learned something. So same thing, friends. If Mr. Mixup's doing the right thing, give him a thumbs up. If he's not doing the right thing, we're going to give him a big thumbs down. Okay, you ready? Yep, I've totally got this beginning to end. Okie dokie, here I go. Okay, so let's watch Mr. Mixup and see if he does this correctly this time. You ready? Yep. Okay, I know. Beginning to end. I heard you guys. We have one, two, three, four, five. And six! Yay! Good job, Mr. Mixup! Tulips, you tell me. Did Mr. Mixup do an awesome job? Give him a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You tell me. Hmm, you're all giving him a thumbs down. Why is that? Tell Mr. Mixup. Uh oh, thumbs down. Why? What's going on? Can we all tell Mr. Mixup why you're giving him a big thumbs down? Because I agree with you. Thumbs down, Mr. Mixup. Mm -mm. What'd he mess up? He made a little mistake. Yeah. I see it too. So, Mr. Mixup, you're right. But I don't get it, okay? You told me start at the beginning, go to the end. Start at the beginning, go to the end. I totally did that. Yeah, but you didn't do everything. You didn't hear the second part of what I said. Oh, what's that? Tulips again, tell him what did he forget to do. Yeah. Here's the thing, Mr. Mixup. You see these giant gaps you left here? Okay, you're not actually measuring the whole length of this object, okay? Because you left these giant holes here. Okay, this does not work. We need to measure the whole size here, okay? The whole length. 
So this is not correct. Oh. Okie dokie. Let me try again. So you can't leave. Apologize for the background noise again, friends. The guinea pigs are playing again. You cannot leave any of those gaps, okay? Okie dokie. So you need to put the cubes together, okay? They need to be touching each other. There should be no gaps. Do you think you do that? Yep. Okay. Let me fix that. Hold on. So remember, no gaps, okay? Like this. Okay, keep going. Okay, 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 I'm gonna fix the next one. Okay, so you're gonna count while you do this. We have, ready, count for us. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, Mr. Mixup, you see you have to keep going, right? Because when actually put the, we actually put the cubes together, it's not the whole length of the object. This is why you can't leave space, okay? You only measured like half of this thing. Okay, I'm going to keep going. So that was six, seven, eight, nine, Ten, eleven. Okay, I'd say that looks pretty good, Mr. Mixup. What do you think? Yep, I think I've got it. Okay, so this time you didn't leave any space and you went to the beginning to the end, right? Yep. Okay, does that look good, tulips? Does that look good? Yeah, I'd say so, Mr. Mixup. I think you've got it. Good. Okay, so let me count for you. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this thing is eleven cubes long. Yes, Mr. Mixup. Very good. This is eleven cubes. Okay. Now, this was eleven cubes. And Jelly Bean, we said, was eight cubes. Okay. So if jelly bean is eight cubes and the calendar is 11 cubes, which one do you think is bigger, friends? Let's tell Mr. Mixup, because I really don't understand this still. Which one is bigger, eight or 11? Which number is more or bigger, eight or 11? Good, it's 11, right? Because 11 comes after eight when we're counting. So our calendar is longer or bigger than jelly bean. Okay, because jelly bean was eight, this was 11. So we could say it's longer. Could we say longer? Very good. Did you learn something, Mr. Mixup? Yeah, I think I did. But um, I'm going to see you guys in a few days because I don't know if I'm going to remember this. Yeah, I think that's a good good point. We'll see if you remember it. Okay, so friends, um, remember I attached to this video two videos about the letter K and also our Starfall website so we could hear what sound the letter K makes. I'm also going to attach two worksheets that you can do about the letter K, okay? And also this afternoon, I'm going to send a link to our read aloud, okay? Our second read aloud of the day is about Women's History Month, because remember, March is Women's History Month. So we're going to learn all about Helen Keller by reading a book about her. Okay, so that's it for today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.